Hey guys, what's up? So I'm going to share with you one of my favorite uh, character designers, uh, Haruhiko Mikimoto, and one of the uh, latest books that's come out with his uh, works in it. So let's get started. So you see right from the beginning here a, a cool uh, illustration from Gunbusters. And then from Gundam, is that 008, is that right? And then if I'm correct, I think these illustrations are from Iron Fortress. I have not seen the Iron Fortress uh, movie. I'm not sure if it's a movie or OVA series, but um, at any rate, I have not seen it. And after seeing this artwork, I'm very, very uh, tempted to watch it or, you know, even purchase it. So I'm just like a sucker for these doughy eyes that he illustrates on his characters. It almost looks like a little Minmei outfit right here. Very cool, like the way that, you know, he, he kind of threw it back right there. Wow, this is awesome. This is a beautiful illustration here. I wish there was some English text uh, in, in the book because I'm not like 100% um, familiar with uh, all of these illustrations and what uh, anime that they appeared in as far as you know the character designs advanced operation um, this looks like a like a Gundam uh, character here to me and uh, yeah definitely you know like the uniforms and the helmets definitely look like a, a Gundam uh, illustration but I could be wrong so and I often am as you guys know nice nice work here this is just a gorgeous book um, I really love you know these types of illustrations where you get to see the early on process of an illustration before it's like fully rendered um, the thing I also like though is to see the fully rendered version of it like let's say this is a full page here well then here maybe you have like the pencil sketch only and then here you would have like you know the full on colored you know painted uh, picture here illustration here so I like to see all the comparisons. But uh, for a book that's that's full of model sheets, um, this has to be the best hands down book that I've seen like that. I think the only other ones that I've seen that were just as good were um, the Macross 2 books, which are his work anyway. Wow, this is stunning here. And this looks like it's from Gundam. Titania. So I'm not sure if that's an anime. I'm assuming it is. I have not seen it. Maybe you guys have seen it. And you can tell me whether it's good or not. Whether I, I should watch it. You know, I would love to see any uh, anime that he's involved with. Mikimoto's character designs are just like, I mean, just total eye candy. Blue Remains, so I'm guessing this is another anime. I have not seen this. Looks like it has something to do with um, Under the Sea or something. Reika, I'm not sure if this is a character or another anime. But great looking illustrations. Look at this guy, this warrior looking guy here looks amazing. And these girls too. Looks like uh, Chinese folklore. 
like warrior fol folklore. Saga 2, Don't Forget Me. That looks like a schoolgirl uh, type of anime. You know, Mikimoto does a lot of um, sci-fi anime and, and that's kind of like what I know him for and, and what I really appreciate about him. This is a gorgeous illustration here. He's always done these things with like the hair like all over the floor kind of going in um, kind of zigzag formation. Did uh, a scene like that um, of uh, Miriam from uh, Macross, I believe. Kind of slice of life going on here. Take that guy out. Really, really pretty. Quavadis too. I really like the character design down here of this particular character. Really awesome. Very mysterious looking. This is cool too. This is just like very retro looking. Totoi. Gunbusters. Beautiful. This is gorgeous artwork. Look at these character designs here. I know we've seen some of these illustrations in other books, but it's nice to, to have them all together here. It's almost like it's it, it's its own book, like within the book. Next generation. not sure what this is from but man this is gorgeous look at this I love this guy right here with his uh, his blue uniform here with the white um, accents on it very uh, speed racer mock go 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 look right here awesome Just love that love the way he just does this though like if you see you know what looks like colored pencil and then with um, like very bold black ink as well super cool oh, look at that hmm. and then of course um, one of the newer illustrations from Megazone 2-3 and you know this illustration is awesome let me just say that first of all but um, I don't really feel Eve in this illustration. So I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be Eve and I don't really feel like, you know, it cap captures her essence in this illustration. But, you know, as it stands alone, it's, it's amazing, obviously. Some pictures of Eve here. Not sure who these characters are. A lot of European style uh, warrior type outfits and that sort of thing. Let's get some more character models, model sheets here. This is awesome. Kind of reminds me of Min Mei again. Macross Digital Mission F uh, or VFX. Oh, I'll have to check this out because I don't, you know, none of this looks familiar to me. Macross uh, VFX2.
I'm really trying to like catch up on all the Macross um, uh, series and, and movies and whatnot. You know, Macross 2 is definitely my favorite right now. It's like maybe Megazone and then Macross 2. Oh look, so, so here's uh, Minmay in that uh, iconic outfit here that I was saying that uh, Iron, the girl from Iron Fortress, like he kind of did like a throwback to Minmay on that suit. You know, obviously with a slightly different color scheme, but he kind of had these shapes and these bold like lines and cross, you know, lines crossing and whatnot on her outfit. So I thought that was cool. So you got Macross 7 here, and it's awesome illustration. Very rock and roll looking. I have the DVD, I just, I haven't watched it yet. So I need to watch the series. I've got quite a big pile of uh, DVDs next to my television that I need to watch. So you get Miriam here um, when she's older. So still around in Macross 7, so that's pretty cool. That's one of the things that made me uh, buy the DVD. So you have uh, Macross 2 here. It's this uh, Hib Hibiki here, I believe. And Ishtar, you got these great photographs of Ishtar here. And then uh, Lisa and Rick here. And some Macross illustrations in the back. Man, I never get tired of looking at this book. This is just awesome right here. Epic, you know, illustration here of Min Mei. I think this is Min Mei, right guys? Um, just, just dynamic, like her pose, you know, the way she's holding the mic, everything is dynamic. Like you, it's just moving, you know, you're looking at it and it's just moving constantly. And then illustrations here of, uh, of all the characters. Well, I guess you get, not all the characters, but you get three of Minmay here. And then, um, what was this guy's name? Folker, right? Was that his last name? And then uh, Lisa and Rick. And then there's the back of the book. And if you turn it around there, you get the front of the book. And it looks like it's kind of one continuous illustration there. Love the way they did that. Beautiful. So, I, you know, I, I'm surprised I didn't see any Megazone 2-3 in the book. I wish I had. That would have been great. That would have been, you know, the icing on the cake. But uh, overall, love this book. Uh, definitely uh, one of my favorites now. Well, thanks again for watching, guys, and don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button and the notification button, and I'll see you next time. Bye.